Okay, we're going to review the Everstar Power Inver Inverter 750 watt. Um, reason I'm doing the entry, the review, is because I saw some items um, that were cheap from the famous delivery company of United States, Amazon. Uh, the cheaper one uh, were relying on heat shield, which is metal, and um, I didn't like it. This one, because it's made out of plastic, the owner, the manufacturer, believes that uh, that it's not going to produce that much heat, but uh, because the components are better. This was bought from Walmart. Now, I'm not a fan of Walmart, but uh the the engineers could tell that they don't need metal to chill it and cool it uh they did put a fan there and uh the fan will cool it i like that better probably uh here's your the part that uh made me decide the most to uh do the review was this part this part pops up it's very hard to to pull it up. Just put your finger here and pull as hard as you can. It will pop up. And this allows you to connect your wires. The wires are, I picked the alligator because uh, you want your battery side to be the shortest because they lose a lot of, they produce a lot of heat and they need to be thick. These are thick wires. Uh, 40 amps gonna go through, which is a lot. Um, so I want the wire to be uh, on a low voltage short. On a high voltage, they can be long. Uh, they can be 50 feet, no problem. But the battery side, you want it as short as possible. Uh, this part pops up, so you connect the you connect the alligators. Uh, of course, you got to have your hood open. Or you can carry a battery with you inside the vehicle if you want. Um, the other side of it, uh, a 500 watt one uh, comes with a car charger, but car chargers, uh, the cigarette lighter can uh, handle most of the time close to 200 watt. They're not, a, after 200 watt, they pop the fuse. So you're not able to use the uh, cigarette lighter for anything more than 200 watts. Um, the watt is voltage times amp. So if you are having, uh, if you're trying to get 750 watt uh, using 12 volt, you need close to 60 amp, I guess. 60 times 12 is 720. That's a lot of energy. Uh, so it's going to produce a lot of heat on these side. But on the other side, which is 120, to get 750, you only need uh, uh, something like 6 amp, which is not a whole lot. Okay? That's why you, we use high voltage in the house. So formula is uh, volt times amp is watt. Okay, so for example, 12 volt times 2 amp is 24 watts. Um, your AA battery, the little small batteries produce like 1.5 amp. Uh, on this side, you get two outlets. And you get two USB, and you have an off and on switch. Um, and because it's not all metal, I I'm, I'm believe it can handle the, the better quality material is made out of it. Another way you could just put a bunch of heat shield. Um, again, this part just pops up. And I'm expecting to have good results out of this. I do appreciate your time and good luck. I'm going to use this to 
uh, power, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, a laser printer in the car. Uh, we will see. It, will, it should work. My laser printer is 400 watts. This is 750 watts, so we should be good. Have a great day.